So we decided against getting uh, the Milas, um, as we had Ascos before, and they were absolutely horrendous, uh, very unreliable, um, didn't like them at all, and finally decided on this very large monster, um, the Samsung 10 kilo wash, 7 kilo dry, WD. Double one zero two XVM. Um, did the wash cycle already? Um, took about an hour and a half. Uh, extremely quiet. I would even say quieter than our ASCO on a spin speed. And now it's currently running in dry mode, and it's virtually silent. What you're hearing now is the pump pumping water out, but it has to be at least half the noise level of our ASCO condenser dryer, which was only seven months old, um, and I'm quite impressed with this machine so far. Um, extremely quiet. Um, it is quite a bit larger than our old one, as you can see, it sticks out uh, a good foot further, but, and slightly taller, but very impressed so far on the first wash tonight. Um, waiting for the clothes to dry, probably about seven kilos in there that I put in, which was quite a full load in our ASCO before and in the dryer. And the ASCO would take probably an hour and a half to wash, drawing about three hours, you're looking at about four and a half hours total, um, and having time to come take the laundry out and put it in the dryer. Versus this, uh, like I said, took just under two hours for a wash roughly, and it's showing four and a half to dry, which will change depending on the dryness of the clothes, it may be quicker than that, but even then, you're not looking at much more time that you'll save when it's all in one. So you don't have to come downstairs and take your clothes out and put it back in as long as you put in, you know, the seven kilos and no more. Um, if you were to put the 10 kilos, let's say we're washing a Duna, uh, comforter, etc., you may need to take some of it out, of course, if you want the whole thing to dry. But a good week's worth of clothes um, for two people um, would be fine at seven kilos, which we washed in our old Ascos. And this is going to do it all in one and saves me the time and effort from doing that. Um, you hear the noise there, and that basically is just the pump pumping out the water. Another great thing that I did notice, and I've checked everywhere, there's no lint filter. So you don't have to clean out lint uh, after each load, and you don't have to empty the water tank, as in a typical condenser dryer. Um, if it's not plumbed in to drain, this just drains through the regular laundry hose. So um, yeah, I was quite surprised earlier uh, when the drying cycle went on that it was even on but I opened it and it was quite hot so it is drying. Um, another interesting tip that I found out online that people may not know about um, there is no specific spin cycle on here it's a rinse and spin um, which is kind of a downfall uh, sometimes you just maybe want to spin something you know some wet wet towels and spin them um, and hang them to dry but there is a way to do it. Uh, you basically would turn off the machine, or when it's off, turn it on and hold down the spin button for approximately two to three seconds. Um, at that point, no matter what this is on, it will click on to a spin only cycle. And you can choose the spin speeds and it will only spin. It will not rinse, but just spin. I did that earlier when I was playing around. It took 15 minutes spin, uh, the full 1200, and um, yeah, it's just 
very impressed from a machine that goes from, you know, spending $4,000 on a set of ASCOs and looking at four plus for some Milas, um, even all in one Mila, it's $3,500. Um, and this um, is $2,700, um, including a five year extended warranty. Much better warranty than the Mila or ASCO, and the 10, actually 11 year warranty on the direct drive converter motor. So, um, quite cool. The Eco Bubble, um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, you basically, I watched it. I'll post a video of this later. That um, it was just foam basically coming out from the top instead of just water. So, um, hoping to, the clothes will become cleaner, um, and we'll see when this is done. Uh, probably not going to be up. Um, it's quite late, so in the morning I'll see what. Um, clothes are like and how clean they are, um, but it seems to be very gentle. The drum, uh, very, um, just very impressed. Um, it is slightly less, um, of course, on the energy ratings. Uh, the condenser is the same as our ASCO, which was two star. Um, the water rating um, is great, it's at four and a half, um, and the washer is three and a half for energy. Um, but that's to be expected with a, you know, 10 kilo washer versus a 7 kilo washer. Um, you can put quite a bit more in this um, because I have to say it is it is massively huge. Um, coming from North America, most of our washing machines are pretty much you know North American size, I guess you could say, and not the Euro sized. And this is definitely a, a um, North American sized machine. Um, it's not going to fit under a bench top. Because you can see it's taller, and our ASCO before um, was to here, so uh, won't fit under a bench top, doubtfully. Um, and it is quite a bit, <coughs> as I showed you here, a little wider when the ASCO was actually even with the sink here. So, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, and even the drawer. I mean, you can look, look, pop it open. It's um, quite huge. I mean, it's a massive drawer. Um, but, so far, very impressed, and I think it was a good decision to make. Um, saves a lot of space if we decide to move it somewhere else in the house. Um, won't have any qualms about putting it in living areas because of the, um, it's just so quiet. And um, there is a slight, you know, vibration when it gets up to speed, um, just for a second or two, but there's definitely no wobbling, there's no... Um, banging, there's nothing. Um, virtually silent, uh, just very smooth. Um, and to be honest, I mean, the, the Milas look great, but this, this darker graphite color um, and the stainless steel, um, it's quite nice. <clears throat> um, so, uh, made in Korea, uh, not one of the Jap uh, Chinese made, but this is a Korean made machine. And, uh, read several reviews and some people didn't like it saying it's taking too long and you know but uh, they may have not come from a condenser dryer come with their washer um, as vented dryers are quicker um, which is the norm in North America but here in Australia it's more Euro so it's the condenser dryers are quite popular and condenser dryers do take longer um, but you can have them inside the home you don't have to vent them and uh, and just a huge plus with this um, is there's no, um, absolutely nothing to empty, no tank to empty, um, no uh, lint filter to clean after each cycle with all the fluff and the clean, it just actually gets rinsed away and down the drain. Um, so um, yeah, quite, uh, quite impressed. So, uh, definitely I'll do another video though, um, tomorrow or the next day, post that and see uh, the wash cycle. Uh, it, it is quite uh, lengthy, uh, I'm not going to do a two hour video, but you know, I'll do some of the wash cycle, some of the spins. Um, I mean, it has basically everything you need as well. I haven't tried out this uh, air wash yet, um, which I believe is just a steam function, um, and it washes um, delicate clothes, you know, you may have go out the night before and your jacket smells like smoke or, you know, some work shirts, etc. 
Uh, you can sanitize. There's the wool baby care, <clears throat> which is extra rinses and high temperature. Sportswear super eco wash, which I washed on today. Regular cotton synthetic bedding, quick wash, water saving rinse and spin. And also the hidden, as I told you again, the hidden spin. Which is turn on the machine and hold the spin button down. It cancels all the other cycles and just the plain spin. Um, you can also choose the uh, drying level, uh, cover dry, iron, small load, low temp, time. Um, you can program your favorite cycle in there, my cycle. Uh, sound off, which uh, sounds really cool. This has some really neat sounds, uh, especially at the end of the cycle, which I'll do in another video. Intensive wash, pre-wash, uh, delayed start, and of course eco bubble, turn it on or off. Um, and anything from dead cold to 95 Celsius, uh, up to five rinses. Um, and the eco drum clean, uh, which will clean the drum uh, if you use cold water, just to make sure it stays nice and clean um, inside with no, no chemicals, etc. Um, and I did, did definitely use a lot less um, detergent than usual, um, <coughs> but um, quite cool. Um, and it does, it doesn't really uh, say anywhere in the manuals, but it is a load recognizing um, machine, so it does recognize how much is in there and uh, times it accordingly. So this four hours, 23 minutes, maybe quicker than this, just depending on what the weight is inside here. So, um, but so far, Samsung, very impressed. Um, again, if you can listen, I'll be quiet and stop yapping for a bit. and. Uh, you can actually hear it. It's uh, full drying um, and there's no noise. And that's just the drain, the pump draining out the water that is condensing. Um, and you don't even have to clean the condenser out either, the uh, actual condenser fins. Um, that's automatically cleaned by itself. So in a sense, it is you know a slightly pricey machine, you know the, near near three thousand dollars, but um, gotta say way more impressed than the Ascos and I'm pretty much more impressed than the Milas because um, that was what we were gonna go with after the Ascos, but then this caught our eye and um, just the size and the you know could do. Um, so one, two loads every day for a week. Uh, probably can get away with three, three or four loads now a week versus all those other times. And it's just easy. Set it and forget it. You put your stuff in and make sure if you want the stuff that needs to be dry, you're not going to hang it. There's a little, <coughs> inside the door here, I can't open it, but there's a little um, marking on here that tells you this is seven kilos. So if you don't put it above that area, um, just let it go and dry everything from start to go with not a touch from you. So, um, recommend it really. Uh, so far, great. Uh, probably be good for families as well. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You you know put your load in the morning, go drop off the kids at school, run your errands, etc. Come back, it's done. Bring out your clothes and fold them instead of having to take them out of the washer, put them in the dryer. You know. I'm not sure why these haven't caught on too much yet, but they may start to. They're starting to get bigger in capacity, and um, so the smaller ones, you know, seven kilo wash, and then you got to take out half because that's all it can dry. But this is pretty big, ten kilo, seven kilo. So um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But um, there's a little dryer. So it reminds me of like the Terminator, all the little red lights that are usually on. But, um, well, I'm not going to sit here for four and a half hours while it dries, but we'll let you know what happens in the morning. Um, and I will definitely post a video of the wash cycle and um, uh, how quiet that is as well. And I'll let you know how the clothes come out. And I'm expecting them to come out very clean and very uh, great. Um, we did get. Uh, of course, uh, your supply of OMO, uh, but don't really use OMO, tend to use more natural products. So, um, but um, I guess that was a plus for it. So, until tomorrow, um, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have, just rate it, and any questions, just let me know. There's a few more tricks and tips that aren't in the instruction manual that I'll be showing, so, um, signing off.